2.3.4 solve absolute value equation and set your question where are the steps to solving an absolute value equation skill I could solve absolute value equations solve 4 times the absolute value of 2x plus 3 plus 6 equals 50 the first thing you want to do is isolate the absolute value Subtract 6 from each side. And do not distribute that 4. Instead, we're going to divide it on each side. So if the absolute value of 2x plus 3 equals 11. Now it's isolated. We we'll break it into two pieces. We have our negative piece, and then we have our positive piece. It's called negative and positive pieces because it's the absolute value. We have a negative linear, and we have a positive linear. We have two linear equations we're going to solve. So for the negative piece, we have 2x plus 3 equals negative 11. And then for a positive piece, we have 2x plus 3 equals positive 11. Now notice for the negative piece, I only changed one side of the equation, not both. So this is still going to be a plus 3 right here. On the positive piece, the only thing that was done is that the absolute value bars are taken off. Everything else is copied down. From here, we'll solve each linear equation separately. Subtract 3 from each side, and then divide each side by 2. x equals negative 7. For a positive piece, we'll subtract 3 from each side, Divide each side by 2. x equals 4. So we have two solutions. We have x equals negative 7 and x equals 4. From here, let's go ahead and check to see if both of these are our real solutions. We'll go back to the isolated equation and plug those in. 2 times negative 7 see if they equals 11. So we have the absolute value of negative 14 plus 3 equals 11. The absolute value of a negative number will still be a positive. An absolute value will always return a positive. If it's negative, it's positive. If it's positive, it's also positive. And then we'll check the other one. 2 times 4 plus 3 so we have absolute value of 8 plus 3. That also works. So they're both real solutions. You only have to do that if there is an x on the outside of the absolute value. If it equals a negative number, it's just no solution. Let's go through each of those steps again. So first, isolate the absolute value and we do that by subtracting 6 and then divide by 4. Next we set the two pieces the negative piece and the positive piece and then last we check for extraneous. And again, you can skip this check for extraneous step if there's no x's on the outside. And you could check, uh, you could skip the step the two pieces if it equals a negative number. You always need to isolate the absolute value though, unless it's already isolated. 
Try the other problems on this page on your own.